friends, it's been several weeks since I've done a garden update, and I thought I would just show you how the peppers are going. Uh, mostly, it's mostly pepper garden, and of course, my garden. What happens is by middle of July, pieces of grass start coming up. I have to come out and usually spray. I usually spray and spraying to keep the uh, grass. So sorry that the garden looks bad. That's what I'm getting at here. But here you can see um, these are the peppers I planted in my raised bed. It's the first time I've done them here in the raised bed. We got, we've got. I've been getting a bunch out of there. Uh, they've not been growing huge, but they've been really good peppers. See, look at this, all these little. I cannot even remember what those little ones are there. So most of the plants are at least I'd say 16 inches high now. Uh, but yeah, th just, just thought I'd give y'all a quick gander. What was it? Maybe six weeks ago. I'll put it in, in the description if I'm wrong, or I'll put it on the screen that we planted these and these were about what six inch tall little plants this is how the patio pickers are done again I, I, this year I did not do the patio pickers per their uh, instructions I did it just as an experiment just throwing dirt in there and growing stuff out of it that pepper there is not doing good that one's it's like so I've had some big peppers and I've had some real little ones when they start to turn color I do go ahead and grab them Got some red ones in there, but I thought I'd show you how these are looking. It's been, I, I have pulled, holy cow, I've probably already pulled 300 different kinds of pepper, maybe more than that. I've made like four or five rounds of my pepper powder. I've, uh, that, that was my goal for doing this, is replenishing my pepper powder. The tomatoes have done nothing. What is causing this, folks? Uh, we have deer that come up here. I notice they eat others. I'm thinking the deer are coming up here and nibbling the top stuff over. Maybe y'all, maybe y'all know what causes that. So the tomatoes are a wash. We've gotten the, the herbs that Nikki's put in here are doing really good. But the uh, tomatoes, oh, forget about it. We, we're getting no tomatoes. Look at these little tiny things. It's just not going to, that's not going to work in a pot. Or at least not the way we've done it. We use garden soil, a really good quality garden soil. But look how these things look like they've been chewed off. Peppers, not so. Plenty of, plenty of, plenty of peppers. And uh, so, so that, that part's been really successful. Peppers grow great in pots. First time that this is the first time they've ever tried growing them in pots. And just as a fun experiment, I put uh, these two over here just in the ground at the same time so you can see they're barely a foot tall. That's maybe 14 inches over there and a few little peppers coming up here. I just put them over here. It's a mixture of kind of sand and native dirt and stuff. I thought I'd give it a shot. Now they grow way better here in the, uh, in the pots, the peppers do. So that's my little garden update. Uh, again, I do the garden updates not because I got anything to show off, I really don't. But just, just as, as mental notes, like next year, I'll take all this into account. We're not gonna put tomatoes in pots like that. And it may, if we gotta keep the deer out, see, we've got a bird bath here that we put out, and I know the deer come up here and drink. We're on top of a mountain, and they don't have a water source. And so they're coming up here at night, I fill this up every morning. And something drinks it, it doesn't just evaporate. The blueberries are, are uh, you know, coming to a close. I still come out and grab a few now and again. I've eaten a ton of blueberries, Lord have mercy. Uh, the blueberry bushes. This year, I, I've kind of let them go. <laughs> Ever since we put them in the ground, I've never trimmed them. This year, I gotta trim them. I gotta figure out the best strategy for trimming them. Maybe it's just, maybe there's not so much of a strategy, but I'm gonna look online and see if I can learn. It, it, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm just figuring these things out as I go. This tree here is growing out of this bush. It needs to be pulled out. It's not It's not a blueberry. It's just something that's taken up in there, so I'll be clearing all that out. It's like a, my garden is a, is a big time challenge for me. I'm just finding time to do it and keep the weeds and stuff out. Here's a big old thing of crabgrass. These little, uh, I don't know what those little things there are called, but they just pop up all over the place. I do have to spray, I have to spray and keep them out. These things I just despise old crabgrass so a lot of mornings i'm coming out and just grabbing mess like this it doesn't take long i can come around and pull them you know try to get them out by the roots 
you can see, it's just, it's just a never-ending battle. Anybody growing a garden knows this. <laughs> Stuff like this, you know, that's going to be hard to... That's so entrenched. There we go. Maybe I can get it. You guys are going to be bored watching me weed, but... I do this all the time. I just throw them out here in the yard. I actually, sometimes I carry them to the woods. She said, I just throw them out here and they dry up, and then I mow over them and grind them all up. Boy, it's a nice, it's a July 15th morning. This is just where we throw stuff, and eventually, usually in the fall, I go and I, I'll clear all this little mess out right here and, and mow over it and smooth it all out. Oh, what a mess. Folks, you see my, uh, there are videos of my garden from 12 years ago. And uh, it looks beautiful sometimes. It looks like an absolute mess other times. <laughs> it is fun to go and for me to see the journey that we've been on just, what the, we had big old huge bushes here that got out of control and they died. I've got to get rid of that box over there. It's been here since, <laughs> ever since we moved into the house. And it's got some fertilizers and stuff in it. It just needs to be thrown away. Oh, mercy. You know, it's just hard. It's hard as a guy that just works full time and then, then comes home and does freelance work. So you know, I have like about probably a 50 hour week job at the hospital. I, I, sometimes it's that. Sometimes I can get it done 40, 40 hours. And then and then, you know, then I probably do, on an average week, 16 hours or so of freelance work. I do video, I do websites for people, uh, you know, a lot of corporate type videos and, and, and website, website updates for various clients. And that's been how I've, I almost had my house paid off, <laughs> which, you know, I'm 60 years old, I should have had a house paid off, but I went through a divorce. Just, 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 just life. Life got in the way. Got a good deal on my house, but Lord, it's been a challenge. I'm sharing more than I should, but you know, people that watch my channel have watched for a long time. Maybe you want to know some of this stuff, and maybe, maybe it doesn't matter at all. The fig tree has been a blessing. I love this every year coming getting figs, and we should be getting them pretty soon. I mean, I'd say in the next three or four weeks, they're in here. At least I've, I know there's some little bitty ones on there. I've seen some larger ones. But yeah, Jamie Griffin, my buddy, got me into uh, figs. There's some in there. Why am I not sell? Here we go. So you see, they're coming up. It may be more like a, a early fall, but uh, yeah, this is this is a. It, it, it's beautiful up here. Life on the mountain where I live is um, it, it's like a struggle against nature because it is a wild mountain. The South Mountains area near Morganton, uh, Mineral Springs Mountain, uh, all the high peak and all that. These mountains are just, yeah, the mountains where I grew up, they're way high up. Stuff doesn't grow as well there. The, the forests don't uh, grow real thick. They just, they're beautiful. They're like magical looking up there. Down here, the forests and stuff are just woolly. I mean, man, it's just like, it, you, you, you um, pull a weed you pull a tree up three trees come back it's just it's almost impossible to subdue it <laughs> but that's okay it's still such a blessing to live up here and to have a good cool place where i can grow stuff and you know i'm i'm very thankful to the lord and and just uh and to my wife my wife uh, you know probably i would never have this was empty. This was this was nothing but grass when I first came here. There was a nothing here, man. And it was all Nikki that wanted to plant things, you know, that wanted to grow big rows of sharing bushes. I see the little hummingbirds in there flying around. Wow. We got we got really good, like probably 15 hummingbirds living around here. I don't know if I can zoom in on that with a GoPro or not. Every year, oh I usually go through a sugar sugar fest when these guys start coming in these are the uh muscadines and when they start to turn purple and red holy cow are they good so we had some pretty good grapes this year uh, we had a really good um asparagus again the asparagus i'm gonna have to uh, trim it i've tried to weed through it 
Uh, it can, there comes a point where it, it more comes out of there than what I can eat. These grapes over here, some of them are they're not, not quite maturing yet. And, you know, sometimes these are really good. Sometimes they're kind of hit and miss, but we've got a pretty good little, little bunch of tags coming up. That's it, folks. That's it for my garden update. Like I say, for me, it's fun to go back and look at these videos and just say, wow, has this thing, every year it's, it changes. It just morphs into something else. Well, when I bought this house, these bushes I'm standing here beside, they're 15 feet tall now. They were like two feet tall, little bitty round bushes. I, I, I tried like trimming them up certain ways for a while and then Nikki said, why don't you just let them grow for a while and just create a wall between our yard and road. And it has created a very nice, you know, privacy boundary and there are all kinds of birds that live in there. Uh, particularly wrens. Wrens seem to like to nest up in that. Pine, pine warblers and stuff. I think I've even got some of them living in there as well. Cardinals. That's it, my friends. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. If you're a gardener who's, who can barely keep it, keep keep the, <laughs> the reins on it, uh, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Tell me, uh, maybe you got some tips for me that can help me out. Thanks, folks.